Okay, here's the saxophone, the Martin Handcraft uh, taken apart. If you can see, they use the original pads. You have to be original, right? They are white and they have a stitch in the middle of them and they're very frail. I wonder what will happen if I do this. Not much. They're still, that's still astoundingly pliable. After God knows how many years. Um, here are the, 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 some of the palm keys. And these are just gone. All right, just absolutely trashed. But you know, we'll get them. We'll get them all dug out, and we'll get them all replaced. Yep. <laughs> and it's inter they're interesting little things. It doesn't have a front F, which is, you know, one thing. But this is the the thing that I found most interesting. That's the D right there. So they're they have all these soldered on tow holes, and I'm going to check them all with a leak light, just to make sure that they're all still intact. But because you're soldered on a tone hole, you can do anything you want. <laughs> so look at the, look at, check out the D, the D tone hole, how tall it is. That puts it in more, more in a line. Yep, kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, one thing that helped a lot was I put um, penetrating oil on, on the joints. So if I were taking like the upper stack apart, I would just put penetrating oil on either side and work it back and forth, um, and that helped. Extracting the extracting the keys that worked. It helped a lot. There's some chalkiness. Um, you know, it's been around. This hoard's been around for a while, so a little chalky, a little, little little gritty. I'm wearing gloves. All right, check back for future updates. Thanks for watching.